It is now emerging that the four young men who were killed in point-blank shooting in Buruburu area of Nairobi have criminal records due to activities within Nairobi and Kiambu County areas. Sources close to the investigations into the Christmas Eve shootings revealed to Citizen TV a criminal past of the four men, including burglary, stealing, and robberies. Police sources say that the deceased were part of a gang that has been operating in groups of five. One member of the gang escaped death by a whisker as he had traveled up country for Christmas. And as Ben Kirui reports, the five members of the gang were arrested and charged in April this year before securing their release on the 27th of November this same year. As investigations into the deadly Christmas Eve shootings in Buruburu area of Nairobi intensify, details on the past the records of the four young men who were murdered have emerged. <laughs> Sources close to the investigations revealing to Citizen TV that they were allegedly part of a gang that has been terrorizing residents of Nairobi and some areas of Kiambu County. The gang, said to have had in run-ins with the police and been arrested several times, had allegedly just been released from Mathi River GK prison on the 27th of last month before they met their deaths on Christmas Eve with the preliminary investigation suggesting possible gang rivalry. The gang of five members identified by charge sheet as 24-year-old Brian Mwangi Kariuki, Francis Kamau Kamanu, 27 years old, Ben Mwangi Kinyua, 24 years, Julius Mwikia Mwangi, 25 years old, and John Ashoka, 30 years old, were arrested on 20th April of this year to face several charges of robbery, stealing, and burglary. On 7th January 2023 at 4 a.m., according to the charge sheet, the five broke into Kenkam Pharmaceutical Business premise located in Earth River and stole items worth 690,000 shillings. A week later, on 14th January 2023, the gang raided Tasia area of Embakasi, police recovering a club, an electric key lock, motorcycle key, a sack and a matchbox. According to the charge sheet, the gang was armed with the intention to commit a felony, burglary, and steal. On the same day, Ben Mwangi Kinyo was found in possession of six rolls of bang with estimated value of 300 shillings. Another incident the police believe they were involved in is a robbery in Gidunguri area of Kiambu, where four occupants of a car broke into rental apartments in September 2022 and stole items worth 113,000. The gang, according to police sources, have been using hired cars for their criminal activities despite their arrest and charges earlier in the year. The case was withdrawn on November 27 when the complainant failed to appear in court. The recent post-mortem examinations at City Mochari have identified three of the deceased, Brian Mwangi Kariuki, Benson Mwangi Kinywa, and Julius Mwangi. As the puzzle of Buruburu shootings continues, the body of one of the four men remains at the City Mochari unclaimed. Ben Kiroi, Citizen TV, Nairobi.